Good morning, I'm Leslie Mouton, and these are the stories that we're following right now. We are hoping to learn more after human remains were found in far north Bear County. The Bear County Sheriff tells us the remains have not been identified, but one possibility, they could be those of a missing mom. Sheriff Javier Salazar says the remains were found around 7.30 last night in the 600 block of Specht Road. Homicide detectives found a decomposed skull and several bones. Salazar said it's too early to tell if the remains are those of a male or a female. He said it's possible this could be Andreen McDonald, who disappeared in March. Is that this is actually quite literally ground zero for the search for Andreen McDonald. Uh, our mounted patrol was up and down this road uh, searching. These remains uh, that were found uh, this time, of course, it's too early to tell whether they're those of a male or a female, uh, but certainly geographically it's the right area. Andreen McDonald's husband, Andre McDonald, was charged with tampering with evidence following his wife's disappearance. He is out on bond. Sheriff Salazar says he's on house arrest. BCSO is expected to provide more details on the found remains later today. This morning on the city's west side, police continue their search for two men in connection to an aggravated robbery that ended in shots fired. This all happened around 355 this morning on the 1600 block of South General McMullen. The victims tell police they were walking towards the Circle K store on South General McMullen. It was at the corner of Munphy Road where they say two armed men approached them and demanded their belongings. The victims handed over their things, but moments later, those suspects shot both victims. One immediately fell to the ground. Meanwhile, the other victim was able to run down the block to the Circle K. There, he jumped in the back of a truck and asked the driver for help. Police say that driver did help the victims. Both of those victims received gunshot wounds to their legs, to their lower part of the legs. They're now recovering in stable condition at University Hospital. Meanwhile, police say that those suspects ran on foot westbound on Munphy Road. On the west side, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. That's all for now. You can find the latest headlines on Facebook and Twitter.